Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma. Today I am like kind of excited for this video, I didn't know what to film this week and I was sitting down with my flatmates going through like my Instagram feed like being like oh like you'll never guess the story behind this and they're like Emma that would be such a good YouTube video and I was like you know what? Thank you, it would be. So today I'm here to tell you guys the story behind my Instagram photos or stories behind my Instagram photos. I've been through and chosen like a select few which have a particularly good story behind them and so I'm very excited to share with you guys. But before we get started, I want to thank Daniel Wellington for sponsoring this video. I am so excited. Like they have some beautiful stuff at the moment just in time for Christmas because I know like Christmas shopping is like I wouldn't say everyone's top priority at the moment, but definitely a lot of people have that at the top of their list right now. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I am struggling this year to come up with gift ideas for people. So I'm here to help you out. You guys will notice this beautiful necklace I'm wearing, and this ring, and the watch, and the bangle. You guys know I normally wear, like, silver jewellery, but, like, I am loving the rose gold. Like, it is so, so beautiful. The watch I'm wearing is the Quadro Pressed Melrose watch. I love the square shape on it. I just think it's so different and cute and the size of it as well, it's nice and petite. I've got a stack with this bracelet which is called the Classic Bracelet in Rose Gold and I just think that like together they are just like the perfect duo. Then I have this ring which is called the Elevation Ring obviously as well in Rose Gold. I also have this necklace on which matches the ring which is also called the Elevation Necklace in Rose Gold as well. So these pieces are absolutely stunning and just in time for Christmas they're currently having 50% off everything when you buy three or more items which is insane they're literally the perfect gift for anyone your sister your mum your auntie your grandma your boyfriend they do matching like his and hers sets so cute but here's the best part if you use my code emma stevens i'll pop on the screen here for you guys just my full name with no spaces you will get an additional 15 percent off your order that is such a good deal guys but without further ado let's jump into the video this was on the 18th of january 2017 so that's like nearly five years ago we went on a kayak trip with it was my mom and dad and my brother and his girlfriend and then me and my best friend Paige and the night before Paige had been up with a stomach bug and she was so close to not coming on the trip but we'd already pre-booked it and so we were on like a tandem like double kayak and she just had no energy because like she, you know what happens after you get a stomach bug and so I was this vibe and I was like yeah like you know I'll take over the team so I went in the back and I was like doing like the hard yards and poor Paige she had a stomach bug and then we made her go on a boat the next day like oh my gosh the poor girl it looks like we're just kayaking having a great time but no we were on a three hour kayak expedition i feel sorry Paige. if you're watching this i'm so sorry that we made you do that next photo i feel like a lot of people don't actually realize that this photo exists it's way down on my feed from the 13th of april 2017 so again coming up to five years ago my hair was longer than what it is now like i think i could nearly sit on it like it was very very long and i decided that i wanted to cut it off and so when i cut it off it ended up being like this short like it was very very short and when i cut it they tied it in a ponytail and then went like snip 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 and just cut it straight across but my hair was so thick it like didn't cut straight so if you like look at the photo you can see the ponytail that I'm holding is not cut straight and so my hair ended up being shorter because they had to like even it out. Great experience the one time that I did do it. Will I ever do it again? No. <laughs> Next up we have this photo which was taken on the plane on the way to Fiji. So this was before influencing was even a thing that was on the horizon for me it was it was not seen you could not see it it was not happening i was just a new zealand high school girl who had like probably like 400 followers just people from my school and i was like you know what like i've just started watching youtube like i think i'm swag i'm gonna make a pinterest board and i'm gonna call it i like to think I'm Insta Famous. It is the name of the Pinterest board, it still exists, and I'd add photos that I came across on Pinterest that I wanted to recreate. This was one of the photos that I wanted to recreate. I decided that I was gonna give it my best. And so the photo that is that you can see, like me taking the photo, that's actually a screenshot so that I could get the focus right because it wouldn't focus. That's a screenshot, and then my thumb is sitting over the capture button, and then I'm taking the photo on Sage's phone. The effort I put in for that photo is way more effort than what I put in now for Instagram photos and it's like my job now. This photo, 9th of October 2017, Fiji, family holiday. My seven year old cousin took this photo. Thanks Lillian. Oh no, Danny, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. Me and five of my friends from high school, as you can see there's six of us in the photo. We were heading to Shawn Mendes, but there were seven people in our friend group and you could only buy six tickets at a time. And so we only had six tickets and so someone had to take one for the team and not attend. 
and that was Danny, who I now live with. December 2017. This is before I had a license, so my parents dropped me and my friend Paige and Kayla off in Fagamata for like three days or something. So we just roamed around the town without a car, living our best lives. We went down to the beach because we saw that Logan Dodds, who you guys may or may not know, he's like a influencer in New Zealand. We saw on his Instagram story that he was at the beach and so we decided that we were gonna go to the beach as well. And so we went down and uh, we saw Logan Dodds. Didn't meet him because we were too scared to go up to him. Oh my gosh. Mum, I'm so sorry about this next photo. 25th of January, 2018. We were on a family holiday. The same family holiday we had when we went kayaking, but a year later. We felt like going to the mount to walk up the mount. From Fonga, the drive to the mount is like hour and a half, hour 45 minutes. And we said to mum, let's go for a drive and walk up the mount in the middle of summer. So we get to the mount and it's like midday, middle of summer. It is boiling hot. We are not in the mood to walk up a mountain. And so we decided to go for a walk out to Leisure Island, which is where this photo is, take a photo, grab a smoothie bowl from a truck on the side of the road and go back to Fonga. We literally went on like a three and a half hour round trip to get a smoothie bowl. Oh my goodness. This is like bringing up memories, which some of them, 15th of October, 2018. I am in this photo with my friend Emma, my friend Paige, myself, Rule. Two randoms, Dylan, someone or other opening act, and my friend Hannah. We met Rule. We were big fans. This was a concert he had at the Tuning Fork. It was like a tiny concert. There was like 150 people there. We got to meet Rule. We got to get a photo with him. Got to hug him. My friend Hannah tripped over his foot. I don't really have anything more to say other than the fact that I met Rule. January 2019. I had just finished year 12 and went to the beach for New Year's, as you do. We woke up on the, I think it was like the morning of New Year's Eve. I open the ranch slider and there's a longboard sitting on the deck. And one of my summer bucket list goals for the summer was to learn how to longboard. So you best believe I hop on that longboard and I teach myself how to longboard over the next like half an hour. And then I was like, guys, I need an Instagram photo. So we went out onto the street and I took a photo using this random person's longboard. I was literally moving at the slowest pace. Like honestly, you could have walked faster than the pace I was traveling in this photo. And then I was like, oh sweet, like we just got a free longboard. Like I don't know who this belongs to. Hello? Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Can I sit in the corner and watch you? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this longboard, this guy rocks up like 20 minutes later and um, claims his longboard. And so then I decided to the next week spend like $300 on buying myself one. Okay, this is April 2020 and this was my first time coming to Hamilton. So Owen and I had been talking for like three months, dating for like a month and I surprised Owen by coming down to Hamilton to watch him play football. It was my friend's birthday. Chesky, I don't know if you're watching this, but hey, I used your birthday as an excuse for this. I said that I was going to Chesky's birthday, which wasn't actually happening. There was no birthday involved, but Owen knew it was her birthday. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to Chesky's birthday today. Like, I won't be on my phone much. He said, like, okay, cool. I was like, good luck for your game. And then while I was busy at her party, I was actually driving to Hamilton with my parents to watch him play football. And so after his game, since we made the trip all the way from Auckland to Hamilton, we went to the gardens and I got a photo of the gardens, as you do when you go to the gardens. Next photo, this was like June or July of the same year. So this was the next time that I came to Hamilton and this was for Owen's brother's 21st birthday. And we went to the lake. This was the day that I learned that Hamilton has a lake. Danny, did you know that Hamilton had a lake? Oh no, you can- I grew up here. You grew up. <laughs> so I was like, let's go to the lake. And I was like, Thinking it's like a rinky-dink pond. <laughs> <laughs> Literally thinking it was a pond. And um, I got a photo of me at the lake with my serious day tights. Next photo, 25th of June, 2019. This was our year 13 school ball. At this point, I hadn't really posted much of Owen on Instagram. And so this was like Owen's like proper debut on the gram. The vibes we'd agreed was that we, when we posted a photo with each other, we wouldn't tag each other. I just posted like a carousel post of like four photos of Owen and I at the ball and just like didn't tag him. I'm currently following someone and they haven't tagged their mans and it's so frustrating because all I want to do is know who they are. And I'm so sorry, like I literally just dragged you guys along and his name's Owen, in case you didn't know. <laughs> oh no. Owen has just come out of a knee surgery and I, being the lovely supportive girlfriend that I am, decided that it's a great idea for us to climb like a mountain, like a cliff face. We're literally pretty much going rock climbing. He was like pulling himself up with his arms because he couldn't use his legs. December, this photo looks like it's in the middle of the day. No, we woke up at 5 a.m., drove into like the center of Auckland, into like Ponsonby or something, 
fancy suburb, went to some bar, watched Liverpool play, watched them win the World Cup, and then we came home, and I had to go to work that day, I had to be at work by 9 o'clock, and so we came home, got this photo, and then I rushed around and went to work, and this literally looks like it's the middle of the afternoon. Oh gosh, this was when I was really scraping the barrel for content, guys. So I decide to do self-timer photos with my box of shapes at my desk in my bedroom. Apparently 2,820 eight people thought that it was like worthy like that literally got the same amount of likes as my ball photo this year i couldn't tell you what month this is but we're in late 2020 here and i receive a brand deal for shakeout which has just come to hamilton and i'm like free burger sign me up it's a saturday evening owen's just played a game of football he's lost he is not in the best of moods but i'm like hey babe i've got we're getting free burgers let's let's go like my shout. So we go to shake out and I have to take this photo in a packed restaurant. People are staring, the workers are confused because I didn't communicate with them that I was like, this is a brand deal. I was just like, I've got a voucher, free burger. But they didn't understand that it was because I had to post the content. So I'm in a packed restaurant taking a photo of me with this burger while my man's is there taking the photo like, hurry up, I'm hungry and I've lost the game of football. We're at the 30th of September and I have a brand photo that I want to take. And I want to switch things up because I don't have anyone to take a photo of me. I'm at home in Auckland, it's just me and my brother. I don't want them to take photos of me for Instagram because I just don't think that that's a good idea. So I'm like, you know what, I'm I'm going to do this myself. I take, it's not, it doesn't have a frame, it's literally just like a piece of glass but it's like a mirror. Sitting in our garage, I pick it up, I walk outside and I put it on the ground and I take selfies in it. And my brother is sitting in the lounge looking at me like, what are you doing? And then I had to go inside and explain myself and he just did not understand. This next one is December 2020, so like a year ago, pretty much to the day. I'm in the South Island with my family. We're on the Hooker Valley walk up to like the base, not the base, but like the glacier pool thing at the bottom of Mount Cook. And I was like to mum, I want an Instagram photo. Mountains are looking sick. Can you take a photo of me? So I do the thing. I hand mum the phone. Mum standing like this. I walk away and I'm like, okay, mum, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna start walking towards you. When I do, hold your finger on the button. So, like clockwork, I turn around, I start walking, I'm not looking at the camera, candid, vibes only, holding my backpack, walking, and as you look closely, you can actually see my dad in the background walking in the opposite direction because he's actually doing the walk like a normal person who doesn't stop and take photos. This is December 2020, I went on a girls trip to the Mount with Morgan and then we met Rachel there because it's like where she lives and we did like a little hometown tour, we got dumplings, went to the beach, you guys may remember this vlog and there was, I don't know if I've ended up putting it in but there was a part in the vlog where I like after we had dinner I like disappeared. I was gone for quite a while because in this photo I am clenching my butt cheeks because those dumplings went straight through my digestive system. <gasps> oh and that's the joys of having IBS. This is end of December or start of January like around New Year's time and we decided to go for a hike. It was me and Owen and Joel. We didn't apply enough sunscreen and so I got really badly sunburned on my shoulders like you can like where my singlet was sitting. Is there still a line like around here? I, I, I still have tan lines from that and it was nearly a year ago. Valentine's Day 2021. We got all dressed up. I got a cute dress and we were like what do we do for dinner? We haven't booked anything. Everything's gonna be booked out. We we're like you know what? We're gonna go to Burger Fuel, we're gonna get kitty burgers, like kitty meals with like the juice pouches, we're gonna go back to Owen's house and we're gonna watch, I think it was The Bachelorette or something. So we got all dressed up to go get Burger Fuel, to go sit in his lounge and watch TV. This was like my comeback after my little small social media hiatus. We were taking cute photos under these tree blossom trees and meanwhile while we were taking these photos there was this guy and honestly like his fitness level was out of this world he was like a short like older guy and he he literally ran two laps around the field in the time that we were taking photos this next photo was literally like a couple weeks ago and there was like a thunderstorm happening like on the horizon of like southern hamilton so we like were outside like looking at the thunderstorm like the, we could see the lightning it was actually really cool but i was feeling fly i wanted a photo because you know i was vibing with the outfit thunderstorms approaching on the horizon and i'm taking Instagram photos and there's thunder crashing which is if you swipe through the carousel you will see my reaction to the thunder doing what thunder does and you can also in this photo see a nice little tan line on my opposite shoulder to where my top is like where my top is sitting that is the tan line from the photo at New Year's where I got sunburned. 
And last but not least, we have my most recent Instagram photo as of the time that I'm filming this of us having our cute little picnic up at Till's Landing in Dinsdale in Hamilton. And we had agreed earlier in the week that we were going to go on a cute flat outing on Friday night and we were going to go get shakeout. It was going to be great. We we're going to have a burger date. And then it got to the time where we had to like order dinner because I think at this point you still had to order dinner because like click and click and COVID and stuff. And so I was like, oh guys, I'm going to do the burger order, whatever I want. Morgan, Morgan was like, oh, I'm going to get Subway. And then I was like, oh, cool. Like, hey, what are you going to get? And she's like, oh, I might get Subway too. And then I was like to Rachel, oh, the other girl's getting Subway. What do you want for them to shake out? And she's like, oh, I'm going to get Subway as well. And so it was literally just me that ended up getting shake out. And then we went up and it was beautiful. Sun was setting. Good vibes only. So many people up there. It was so nice. And then Jong, Rachel's mans, took these great photos for us. That is a story behind my Instagram photos. Hopefully that gives you guys a bit more of an insight into what kind of happens behind the scenes it's not all what it looks like maybe that's my new niche is like taking a photo and like making the caption like actually what happened i feel like now when i post you guys are gonna be like nah like that's not that's, that's not how it looks like there's something more to the story most likely yes there is but anyway thank you guys for watching and thank you so much to daniel wellington for sponsoring this video again my code emma stevens for an extra 15 percent off they're already 50% off sale when you buy three or more items, which is so good. So yeah, definitely head over to their website. I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys to click that will take you over to their website. But thank you guys for watching. If you made this from the video, comment whatever emoji you want. Um, this one's up to you guys. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. The 25th of June, 2019. Next photo, 25th Next photo, 20th. Next photo, 20th. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why can't I say it? That's not right. I'm a year ahead of myself here. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Yeah.